Hello there, welcome back to this series called How to Basic Your iPhone. If you're new to this series, this is a series where I go over the basics of using your iPhone. This is How to Basic Your iPhone, episode 4, and today I'm going to be showing you how to control your iPhone. So, generally you would tap into settings to control your iPhone, but let's say you're on another app and you don't want to exit out of that app and do something in the settings. So generally you would just so generally you would just swipe up and it would reveal this thing, which is called the control panel. And this control panel contains all the bare minimum essentials for controlling your iPhone. Now, this is the basic stuff. Now, if you want more options and features, you can easily just tap into settings. But that's the, but that's, this is the, but this is the basic stuff. So, so there's two ways to control your iPhone. Number one, the basic way, the, the second way is all the features. So, let me first go over the basic way you have your airplane mode you turn that on and off you have your cellular you turn you can turn that on and off you can turn off bluetooth i mean wi-fi you can turn that on and off you have your bluetooth if you have a bluetooth device like airpods it automatically disconnects once you turn it off you have your portrait orientation lock on you have your portrait orientation lock off. You have your screen mirroring, which allows you to show your screen, your iPhone screen on other Apple devices or devices you connected it to. Um, you have your flashlight, you turn that on and off. You have your timer which takes you to the timer app. You have your calculator, you have your camera. This is where you uh, turn your screen brightness up or down. I'll just leave that up. Here's where you control your volume. And if you have, if you listen to music or you have iTunes and, and you're in the middle of playing a song, you can pause or unpause that. So, this is the essential stuff. This is the basics. This is for quick, easy access. But if you want to get into the optional stuff and more, way more features rather than just the bare minimum or essentials, then you can easily just go into settings, which is going to be number two. I'm going to be going, giving you an overview of settings too. So, you tap into settings. You have your airplane mode. We already went over that. We have your Wi-Fi, where you can select different Wi-Fi networks. You, you have your Bluetooth. We already went over that. You can turn that on or off. We have cellular, where you can control the network for your iPhone. Now, this only applies if you have a SIM card. So, if you don't have a SIM card, don't worry about that thing. Um, it, you have your personal hotspot, where your phone can serve as a network for other phones. You can turn that on or off. You have your notifications, where like where you control how they notify you and stuff and you have your sounds and haptics where you control your ringtone your phone ringtone you have your do not disturb where where if your phone rings when you want when you want it to vibrate and not sound and when you want it to ring instead of vibrate you have your general which teaches you all the basics of uh, of um, all everything you need to know about the phone the characteristics of the phone um, this is one of the things I have to tap onto because there's multiple things 
you have your about um this you have your software version you have your software version and everything um you have your airdrop your airplay and handoff you have your carplay you have your home button you have your iphone storage where you access your iphone storage we already went over that in a different video you have your date and time, you can select that. You have your keyboard, you have your fonts, you have your language and region where you can change language. Um, you have your dictionary, and you have your VPN. Legal and regulatory, and reset and shutdown. So there's a lot of features within the settings, general. So... Now you have your control center, which is basically the same thing as this, and you can control if whether whether you want it to be here or you don't want it to be here. If you don't want to always want to access it like th this, uh, or you just don't want it to. If I accidentally swipe up or something, you don't want it there. Or something so you have your display and brightness we already went over that you can control your display and your brightness you have your accessibility which allows you to customize your phone for needs you have your wallpaper where you can change your wallpaper you have your Siri where you can control her or him you have your touch ID and passcode whether you want to activate it or turn it off you have your emergency SOS, where you, if you have an emergency, it allows you to click the on and off button five times for a 911 call. You have your ba battery, which allows you to know how healthy your battery health and your privacy, where you don't, let's say, where you control, um, what what to share with what to share with social on social media and what not or what with or what with apple id you have your itunes and app store if you if you um download if you down if you want to download apps you can turn that on or off you don't want to, if you don't want itunes you can turn that off you have your wallet out apple pay you can not activate it or you can turn that off you have your password which allows you to keep track of your password and accounts you have your mail which which gives you all the mails and this is basically where all the apps you have and you can control everything here and you control all the app and you can control all the apps here so that's it for um this video thank you guys for watching comment like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye